<laughs> Andre was not ready for this. Um, it's currently 10 p.m. or 10 11, 11, yes, it's 10 20 p.m. 10 20 20. 10 20. And uh, we are working on our next project. It's the studio's idea, but uh, we are getting it done. So, um, big news. Big we are very excited. Yes, <laughs> we are very excited. The RAM project was designed, was created so we can help young artists to appear on the internet. But the problem is that some people don't have the opportunity to learn music. So, we're of officially opening the RAM Music Academy. Here in the studio, it's a very crazy idea from my point of view. We'll start to teach young people how to play these instruments. I'll be a bass teacher. Wow. Yay, so excited. <laughs> uh, and I'll be a guitar coach. And we're preparing the speech. And we are very... Uh, unprofessional? No. <laughs> one. We are... I, I missed the word. <laughs> so we're not so good at writing the script so uh, yes if you want to join the ramp music academy just do it yes and uh, it's a bit risky it's a risky move but uh, you don't risk you don't win so we'll give it a shot uh, that was not the thing no I no Mă rog, no, zis în no, we thought it in Romanian. You ta ta ta, you lose. Update, so we search on Google Chrome. Uh, take the risk or lose the chance. Yes. This is the saying. But That's uh, what we are doing now. Yes. Hope that it will work out. Yes. Eventually. So um, today we are planning the script and the shots because we want to do a promotional video to promote our music academy and uh, tomorrow we'll film, edit and post. So stay tuned. But you will post the video on the dude's channel on Tuesday and we post the video for the music academy on Monday. So I think you already saw the video, so... You'll see it again. Yeah, you'll see it again. And uh, the behind the scenes. And after... Um, <laughs> after... Um, we'll tell you how our last uh, gig was at uh, Brezoi. Because we didn't have the chance to bring the camera with us. Because the camera was needed here in the studio for Alex to film the girls. And as always, when we don't bring the camera, the craziest stuff happens, and uh, we have to tell you. <laughs> we are too tired and uh, we laugh at everything. I think uh, we deserve a break. And uh, in this break, we'll tell you how uh, our last gig was. Right, Andre? No, different episode. No, we'll tell you tomorrow. Yes. I have to ask Romina to give me some videos because yes. she filmed everything with her phone. We'll not film anymore today. Good night. See you tomorrow. Andre, la revedere. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, it's morning, it's the next day, actually it's 12 p.m. but the original plan was to get to work like one hour ago, but I got here and now I have to wait for Andre because he's taking care of something downtown, I don't know what, but I think that I have to find something to do in the meantime. Okay. So I'm back, I'm back, I had some work uh, in the city, but I'm here to tell you what happened at uh, Pinch Me Festival. Unfortunately, we didn't have the camera with us because, uh, as Robert said, there was some work at the, uh, at the studio and we had to leave the camera. And as always, when we leave the camera, interesting things happen. And uh, we will not be able to show you, but uh, as a great storyteller, 
I will tell you in great detail. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so we left at 5 uh, a.m. And uh, we didn't realize that there were some working on the streets. And uh, there, there was a very big queue of cars and we had to, we spent like three, three hours in traffic. We had to drive to Brazoi for like nine hours, but we drove for like 11 hours and so. And uh, <laughs> at one point when we stopped and we had to wait for our turn to go, uh, George uh, had to go to the toilet, but there was no toilet there. So I told George, man, there is a bush there, go and do your job. <laughs> and also, uh, Romina filmed, so I'll ask Robert to put some shots from there. <laughs> George! <laughs> and at some point, after George left the car, we had to drive and uh, somehow we had to stop and we had to wait for George and... Uh, but we continue our road, our trip and again there was some working uh, at one hour from uh, Pinch Me and uh, again we had to wait for like one hour and a half and oh my gosh the problem was that we had to be there at 3 p.m. and it was 3 p.m. when we were like 100 kilometers away from Pinch Me Festival and uh, at some point we got a call Hey man, we will need your symbols because the guys from the New Jersey band the tribute for Bon Jovi which they were some really amazing guys we talked to them, we heard them playing and they were like like you will, you will close your eyes and you will listen to the Spotify recording like really professional guys uh, they will need your symbols for the sound check and we're like nah, the problem is that we are 100 kilometers away and there's a lot of traffic here and uh, everything got delayed but we we got there after one hour and a half and uh, we we gave them the symbols everything was great like we started playing everyone was really nervous because uh, we were playing Hendrix and we had only two rehearsals to make these songs and also change the structures we will start to post some videos from uh, the from the gig on my youtube channel and another thing after we finished the gig uh, Sergio had to be in another place like very far away because uh, he had uh, a wedding there and uh, we had to drive him to uh, a city near Brazoi like 50 kilometers away when we left Brazoi. We knew that we had to wait in the line because they were making some changes at the road, they, they were renovating. So our luck was that when we reached the main road, the traffic lights turned green and we, we went straight to our destination. We dropped Sergio yeah, and... You forgot something. What? On, a, on our way to the... Oh. <laughs> when we were at Vulcha City, there was a roundabout and uh, uh, there were like four exits and two of them uh, were forbidden for us to enter and uh, we just have two left. One of them was a passage under the bridge and, the, the, and our van's height exceeded the maximum height allowed under the bridge. Yeah, so it, we had it didn't fit. Should we try to to go through through there? And uh, we were like, okay, let's give it a shot. And Sergio came out of the car and uh, he spotted us if we have like space to enter with the van, and we didn't. So uh, we had to turn the van back and to make the roundabout. We did the roundabout like three times in a row. Before we decided. What before to yes, before we decided uh, what route we should take. Uh, and after that we, we dropped Sergio, he took a bus at, uh, to Constanza and after that on our way back they already finished working so again we are very lucky and uh, we reached our accommodation in no time we had like uh, six solid hours of sleep and uh, hours of sleep yeah it was a long story time sorry for uh, listening to our very bad English but that's the situation yeah so now we have to wait for Florin to give us some uh, advice of 
how uh, the script from from last night should be because apparently we didn't get it right <laughs> so um, until then i don't know what we'll do we'll see mm.